it. Let's do it. Let's do the thing. Let's do the thing again. I'm sorry. Welcome to the Northern Nits Podcast, where two friends in fiber who knit, craft, crochet, and talk everything in between. Uh, my name is Jocelyn. My co-host is Diana. This is episode 301, part two, because sometimes I can't tack. So here we go again, once more with feeling it is now Monday instead of the usual Sunday recording. You guys will still see the episode on Wednesday, but that's not the point. The point is I had to put on makeup three times in the last 24 hours. <laughs> Hence why we're wearing different outfits than we are in the thumbnails, because meh. I mean, I'm still wearing the Whatever. same over sweater, but my shirt's changed. <laughs> it's yeah, I'm just, I, I don't it's even fine. remember what I was wearing yesterday. It's I fine. Tell my you. hair was braided yesterday. It's not today. <laughs> it's, it. Yeah, I'm, I'm completely different. Whatever. The messy background of stuff I'm still trying to sort it still exists. From here this way. We're pretty clean and organized. The shelves are the way I want them. I've pretty much got the craft cupboard all recombobulated and squared away correctly. So it just sort of leaves the stuff on the coffee table. <laughs> it's full. Mm -hmm. The stuff back here and the stuff over here. So I'm getting my background's changed, but I put away the Christmas stuff today. Well, that's good. Uh, I have some Christmas stuff. The stupid Christmas tree back in the that box. will be out all year round because they got to be late and they're in a bag. I will sh I will show everybody next week. But you remember the little rubber duckies that were Halloween themed? Mm -hmm. Your mother in law found me Christmas rubber duckies, so I have a reindeer rubber ducky and a snowman rubber ducky and a Santa Claus rubber ducky. Perfect. And I'm because. I don't feel like going down 38 steps. No. What's nine plus nine plus eight plus nine? <laughs> What's nine times three plus eight? 27 plus eight is 30. <laughs> Something. <laughs> that many stairs. <laughs> Guys, it's that many stairs to the basement from here. Uh, oh, and we do math all day, both of us, <laughs> both so well. <laughs> I had to do advanced oh. math courses to get my degree. <laughs> do I remember any of it? No. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. The hook goes in the loopy, oh, and then I make yeah. another loopy, and then I pull through the loopy, loopy. with the other loopy. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's where we're at. That's where my brain's at right now. I don't, I don't want to go all the way down to the basement to come all the way up from the basement to put three little small rubber duckies in a tote. I understand. They're just going to live on a shelf till Christmas. Walked around the house three times looking for all of the Christmas stuff that I've forgotten. I think I've got it all. So they're just they're just going to live here in the apartment with me year round. And honestly, I don't remember if she the keeps, magnets this year. I always forget the magnets. If she keeps finding me seasonal rubber duckies, I may just start leaving them out all year round, tucked around my apartment, so you can find the rubber ducky. Then we can play the find the rubber ducky game in Jocelyn's apartment. <laughs> yes. I just have rubber duckies stashed everywhere. I don't know why. It's like I love those these. I Spy books from the nineties. Yeah. Find all the themed rubber duckies. Uh huh. Uh huh. I kind of miss those they're fun i mean i wouldn't be able to play them anymore but yeah but i mean i also miss the invisible ink book things where you got the book and the invisible ink and you had to do the puzzles and the ink would disappear you made the ink show up to solve it yeah i don't think i know these ones i'm old <laughs> that's what I'm it is i might have missed that I'm one i'm old i'm old that's but i remember it. the i spy books particularly the halloween one because it was like a dollhouse yes and like the whole thing was just the different rooms in the dollhouse it was great yeah super good no no the ice pad books were always delightful all right uh now since i know that i have mint tea in my cup <laughs> hello how have i put i don't know how i managed it but i instead of missing a double crochet i have put two double crochets in a thing well then uh Crochet two together. 
yep that's what we're doing here and that'll disappear but i showed you that i showed you that mending technique we were talking about the other time when you missed yes. a stitch and i yes. skipped a whole waffle square that wasn't one stitch i had a i skipped two whole stitches <laughs> so it's just a hole just... but i was not ripping back on this back paddle was not ripping back so i just dropped down and did a back post treble crochet to make sure that the bottom line or the horizontal yeah horizontal line went all the way across and then you didn't even notice it <laughs> disappeared it's yep. like magic i made the whole go away so i was very excited about that all right i'm going first well since we're talking about the cardigan so i might as well just talk about the cardigan because oh wait no yeah, you were talking about it. what's in your cup oh yeah um da -da. i have uh will it focus though um in my crochet pattern wine tumbler <gasps> Edmonton fiber frolic right i i have put regrets some raspberry not getting. lemonade kombucha i have regrets not getting one of those it was between regrets. this and a coffee cup and i already have so many coffee cups i have regrets like i like that tumbler a lot might have to keep an eye out if i see those tumblers again and it's not like i don't have a large thermos thingy i do i do or maybe a more reasonable knitting size, a knitting sized, a knitting themed reasonable sized one for like not water. That's the best way. Because nobody needs a yeah, Jocelyn head sized mug of apple cider. I mean, maybe we do. You don't know. You don't know my life. I actually have a fairly good idea of my life. Uh, sure, that'll work. I sit here holding a ball of Briggs a little gray heather yarn in the heritage because yes because you're regal i'm heritage or you're heritage yes. and i'm regal one of the two no i am regal there's a ball band here that says regal regal that i'm heritage why am i holding a ball you ask because since sunday which was yesterday diana put in a massively oversized stitch marker on her cardigan back paddle to mark her progress mm -hmm. and i went i love that idea so i did the same thing mm -hmm. and i went i really i only have nine rows we're going to finish this. I have mm -hmm. five of the nine I needed to finish this back pedal done. And I need to connect <laughs> another ball of yard. Ah. Uh, Son of a. Yep. So here is my back paddle with my uh, nice little red skull progress keeper. And I am going to finish the last few uh, waffle blocks. Now, each waffle uh, square is two rows. It's a two-row repeat pattern. And this is the last of the big chunk. Like, once this is done, I can feel it in my bones. Because I've crocheted so many garments now. I know that this is the it's hardest like... part. <laughs> this is the hardest the part. Well, yeah, I'm on the last because... row. When we counted yesterday, I'm on the last row. last row. I just have yes. to go back one more time. Yeah. <gasps> Well, that's because you and I like different, like, I don't want an oversized cardigan. So, like, mine's... And I very much do. I'm hoping this comes out to be similar in size to the um, Caduceus cardigan from Critical Role. Oh, yeah, that's a good oversize for you. Whereas I want this to be, like, a relaxed, a relaxed fit sweater. I'm a I big have... fan of the oversized sweater. I, I have one very sweater. oversized cardigan, and I love it, but I would never wear it out of the house. So why would I make more? Oh, I love oversized sweaters. So, I gotta keep working on this once I connect a new ball. Of course. <laughs> of course. Of course. So close. So close. You know, for that fall equinox cow that ended oh, way back at the winter solstice. Yeah, you know, yep. coming up on a month ago. Here we are, both still working on it. Yep. We're doing, uh, we're doing great. I only have four more waffles to make. I swear. All right. Did we, that say is... what the... did we say what the pattern was? We did not. This is the four pocket cardigan by Hey Crochet with Carrie. Uh, I don't remember how it's spelled. <laughs> F-O-M-H-A-R. And there's an accent over the A. Yep. We're both using our fancy hooks from Two Piece Hooking. I got a hold of my fancy hook. <gasps> fancy hook. Which now lives safely well out of my cat's reach because she likes to chew on the bubble balls. But oh my god, ergonomic hooks. 
yeah right i'm 2023 oh. i am replacing my hooks with ergonomic hooks Did I seriously after all that I put can... a single crochet in here um, the past diana is kicking current diana in the butt now i'm gonna replace all of my hooks with with uh, ergonomic no like I have I have some rubbery ones. It's it's just the all metal ones, unless they're like the honk and nine millimeter one, or a twelve meter millimeter one, which has already got a nice big wide handle. <clears throat> but my others, like I got a, I got this five. I got a six or a six point five in ergonomic. I've got this five in an ergonomic. I got a three point five with a flat wide wooden handle. So like I've already got some with the with the wider handles at the bottom for comfort and grip. Just gotta keep replacing them. I've also discovered that in all of the hooks I have, and I have a fair number of hooks, I have no sevens or eights. I okay. have six sixes, five six point fives, but not a seven. Not an age. I have a nine, not a ten, or an eleven, but a twelve. <laughs> a weird set of sizes. It's because most of them were inherited from my granny. <laughs> ah, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> so I need to slowly go through and uh, replace her plastic hooks with ones that um, still have numbers on the bottom of the shaft of the crochet hook that I can magnify to read. <laughs> that that helps. I think you can also. Well, I don't know if you can do it with the. Hmm. Can you use a needle, like a knitting needle gauge, for crochet hooks? You might. Does I don't work? know. I'd have to try. I honestly have no idea. Anyway, uh, TikTok has started showing me uh, all of the pretty indie maker um, ergonomic crochet hooks. Good. Like, like the carved wooden ones that are so gorgeous. TikTok knows uh, But you also well. like. <laughs> Also, like the acrylic resin ones with like gold flakes in the handle. Like they look oh clatter clatter. They look like like the magical girl anime things. So yeah, more ergonomic hooks this year. I might need one of those anime girl ones. What's I don't think that's specifically what they're billed as, but that's what they look like to me. I think they I look haven't like that. moved. I have not left this area. I have not left the And you screen. put something into safe place and ha, it's going away? Ha, ha, I lost the giant ball of yarn. Oh, it went into a pocket dimension? It was sitting in front of my cop. Oh, yeah. that'll do it. But it's circular, so it needs to go into a ball. Yarn bowl. Maybe more yarn bowls. Yeah, yeah, I hear you people finish your whips. That's not the point. Maybe I need an <laughs> anime themed yarn bowl. Ooh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh man, I absolutely can see what that would look like too. I know. Ah. Uh, yeah. I kind of want one. Like all the molded plastic with the plastic gems and the, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, all the '90s glory. Like it's. Yeah. Yeah. Sailor yep. Moon themed. <laughs> I can totally see it. I don't want it. I see it in my mind's eye. I kind of want If I had it. the skills to make that, I but I have absolutely no idea how to make that. I have no idea either. I, like, presumably one could make it with a 3D printer, but I don't have a 3D printer nor the knowledge to operate one, so... Uh... I will get to go learn how to use a 3D printer at some point. <laughs> Ooh. Well, vlog it or something. Take us with you. Take us, take us with you. Take us with you. We want to go on an adventure. We need to live vicariously through you. What now? Yeah, we we want to vicariously craft. Uh -huh. That's what we're here for, right? To uh, So people can vicariously craft? Absolutely. Would you like to talk about your four card again? I, I mean, I kind of already did. Um, oh, you want to pitch it back to done. me? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's, it's the same, but in brown <laughs> instead of blue. A marketing director, a... you are not. <laughs> <laughs> they, there's a reason I'm not in marketing. Oh, gosh. They let me write the educational content for my department at work. For some... 
So, oh my goodness. Why? <laughs> because I was the best choice. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Anyway, I just want to show off my ostentatious stitch marker for As a second. One should. As one should. It's it's a plate with a whole coffee and two donuts on it. It is huge. And it does not look huge on this giant back panel. It looks normal sized. It is not normal sized. It is <laughs> enormous. It's on a giant and like... panel and it looks normal sized. Really should tell people how beefy that <laughs> stitch marker is. Progress it's creeper, weighty like it could be a small keychain it has weight to it like if i flick this like i could clock somebody pretty good in the head with this yep. anyway yeah i have nothing to add it's the same pattern it's the same sweater and i'm at roughly the same point as you except i think you have a front panel on me i have a front panel on you i am officially ahead of you by a whole panel whole panel okay whole panel. well i'm just about i'm after this row i do believe my back panel's finished so you are ahead of me i've got four wa four more waffles to make oh i'm gonna be so excited i'm gonna interrupt you and do a dance when i finish this row <laughs> that's fine that's fine since podcasting literally yesterday i was uh binding off stay here I need to talk. I bound off my first fingerless mitten for the ribbed cowl set that I'm working on. There's nice, a pattern nice. link on Ravelry. It's a free collection pattern that you get uh, fingerless mittens, uh, a hat, and the ribbed cowl I made out of it. As you can see, I've got to make mitt number two, so I've shoved all of the DPNs I'm using to make this <laughs> into the first project so I don't lose them. But look at that pooling and that color work. And this is that hand-painted uh, woolies that uh, I have. It's so pretty. I want to get some woolies. I see it every time I go to Michael's, which is not that often. That makes it sound yeah. like I go there a lot. I don't. Yeah. Um, but the rare times that I do go, I see it and I'm like, I want yep. some. Yep. I have done two projects. Your turn. <laughs> that is my turn? Okay, what am I talking about? Um, how about a sock? Sure. Yeah, we can talk about a sock. We can talk I, about a sock. We can, we can talk about a sock. So last week, I was just finishing up the uh, the Mr. Diana socks in Red Wing Blackbird from Fireweed Fiber Coat. So the sock is finished, and I've started the next sock. I've started the wee little next sock toe. I'm like 10 rounds in. It's great. Did you watch Cozy Up Knits? The latest episode went up no. like three days ago. Oh, no, I definitely have not. I'm behind on absolutely everything <laughs> YouTube-wise. They purchased a fade set from Aaron called Black Tulip. Oh, and it no. goes from red to purple. Oh. So we both individually need that set because what are our colors? Um, Those ones. Those colors. Oh, so I feel I like I silenced you, phone. <laughs> I'm sorry. Welcome to evening podcasting, people. Where we're even. I did silence it. Why is it making noises at me? How is it making noises at so, me? I saw so yesterday. Do not disturb. I saw it yesterday, and I went, "Uh oh." <laughs> I think that is what we have to order from the errand to make something to wear out when we're places, so that we match but don't match. I would tend to agree. And because it's fingering weight sets, it means we can get away with wearing it for you. Like the entire seasons, we would go out and do stuff. And I would only be kind of overly warm in the summertime. And it's a six gain set. So like that is a sweater. That's. And then some like. That's a sweater and then some. Or a giant drapey shawl. Oh man, what do you even do with that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll have to I'll yeah. have to give this some thought. Yeah, but I feel like we need that set. I feel like we both need that set. I'm gonna have to go watch this podcast. I'm it's gonna a have to watch the episode after this now. I need to see it. It's a beautiful red to purple fade, and my brain just went, uh-oh. <laughs> uh, okay, Jocelyn and Diana need those because they're literally our podcast colors. Okay. <laughs> okay, I understand universe. I hear you. Here, oh, take God. my money, take more of my money. Okay. <laughs> The universe took a lot of my money today. 
I'm very bored I'm, adult uh, stuff. I will be uh, paying Aaron for my sock club shortly. Actually, I'm getting the. I went for the DK Tweed this year, so my my DK Tweed club. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so did I. So, but that's because that top cube is all Aaron. <laughs> top figure weight cube. <laughs> so, I need uh, either more cubes, which is not happening right now, <laughs> or, or more more different yarn, yarn of a different weight where I have space. <laughs> Oh, that would be my DK cube. So we'll do that. Let's talk about this because then I can also dump this onto the floor and then it's not sitting in my lap causing me heat. Yes. Uh, this is a partially finished object. I must put it on my head. It's true. You must. I continued to tempt Diana like I does because I am the best of friends. I'm still so tempted and I'm still doing such a good job of resisting. Don't I'm worry, following folks. my two out one in rule. I'm here all week, and I see, literally will see you in less than fourteen days. I know, and you will not I'm be able to, to resist follow my rule. Once you've the been rule here which you person. suggested to me, but as a matter of fact, I did because your first initial rule was I'm going to finish all my whips before I cast anything on. I believe I started laughing at you. Yes, well, I believe I prefaced that with, this is probably too ambitious, but... And I went, yeah But a finish <laughs> two start one is quite reasonable. Even a one one out one in is reasonable if you've got a large pile of whips and you don't like... You don't like the idea of being that restricted. That works too. But this is the study of Snow Blanket by uh, Mikey of the Crochet Crown. It was designed by him and, oh no, I forgot the name of the other designer that helped to work on this. Oh, oh no this is beautiful 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 bulky weight textured shawl it is gorgeous it is not washed it is not blocked i will not be able to make the full 64 inch by 64 inch blanket because i do not have eight balls of burnett blanket floating around what i do have are two very large balls of impeccable big in the earth ombre and mm. five balls of impeccable gold that I'm holding together to make a nice marled version. And I will stop when I am a very good couch throw size. For the record, I'm not even done my second repeat. And I am already covering my entire torso. It looks good. I do want to make one. And I'm on a size I'm going to make it one of, those, one of those Karen anniversary cakes. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I'm literally just going to make this till it's from my under me armpits, under me armpits, till it uh, drapes on the floor and covers my toesies. And we're calling it done because it'll be a beautiful couch throw. But look at that texture. Look at it. Mm. Look at mm, it. Texture. It's so squishy. And there's puff I want the texture. Puff stitches and cross stitches and through the bruh. Back, no nope, front loop, front loop stitches. Oh, it's a nice, nice rest rows where you're just double crocheting. Your brain can take a break. Oh. I do like rest rows. It needs to get that done. Half double crochets. Oh, so good. So good. I needs it done. I did pick up the black yarn to finish my sister's blanket so I can actually get that done too. Uh, because boy, I'd like to have both of those off my plate this week. Do you think I can do that? It's Monday. If I work every mm. evening on them, delay the secret crafting, because that won't go badly for me later on. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Future jostles could kick my butt. Uh-huh. I might be able to get two crochet blankets done this week. That would be something. That would be really cool. I might try to do that for Saturday. Probably take that off my head now. The trick will be to stay focused. I think I finished the back panel. So it's Diana's turn again, and I've got two more projects to go. I'm great Huge. at staying focused. This, you, this but do we need gonna, to put this a, has to be done. Do we have to put put in a cut so you can measure it? Yes, I need yep. to measure it. Or you know, don't cut. That's also fine. Uh, okay, guys, we'll see in a hot second. Diana's gonna disappear off screen. I'm just I'm waiting for the one time where you like do the elevator button push and then you just squat out of frame. <laughs> You're on to the next step, dear. Ah! <laughs> it's the crafter's cry of victory. 
crafters cry ah! victory is ah! Ah! <laughs> personally i like the real where you said uh what was it you're mad you're gonna go to war <laughs> I feel like a man. We do a war. I want a lightsaber. Yep. <laughs> I feel like that might be a more enthusiastic. I've accomplished a craft show. <laughs> right. Uh, this is a big uh, accomplishment. Uh, it's What's a flipping thing? huge back panel, dear. Where is it? <laughs> uh, 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 he here's the ice. Ha uh, uh, ha. Huh. Uh-huh. Here. Ah! <laughs> it's not attached. It's not attached. Ah! <sighs> God. So what do you do? Yeah, drop it with enthusiasm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to not roll over my nice at what expense of progress keeper. No, don't do that. <sighs> I got two projects left. How you doing? Great. I'm feeling okay. good. You're feeling good? <laughs> um, I'm supposed to talk about something now, aren't I? Yeah, that would be you again, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, okay, how about the uh cobra sweater? Yes. That's a thing to talk about. Did you make magical I progress am... since yesterday? Uh, no. <laughs> it's only been since yesterday. <laughs> it's barely been 24 a... hours. I did a whole five waffles. Which sounds like nothing. Because anyway, I'm referring to the stitch across the whole back panel. I have finished the... It's all curling because stockinette, of course. Yep. But yep. I have finished the yoke charts. I have finished it looks so the good. rows on the back so that it actually like comes up higher on the back. And if I can get this to actually roll down and like you can see the moons and the trees. And so the very next round that I do is going to be splitting for the sleeves. Yes. And then we've got some stockinette plain in the blue for the body. And then um, there's another moons and trees chart at the bottom. And it's mercifully short sleeved, so I will only have to pick up the sleeves and do like an inch of ribbing and call it a day. Okay. And in theory, this is done by Saturday. Because on Sunday I get on a plane. <laughs> to theoretically give it to the niece on Monday at her birthday party. Boy, I hope that's the only thing you're working on this week. Uh, basically, yeah. Yep. I mean, I can't work on it while we're recording because it's a little too intense for that. Oh, yeah. I cannot split for sleeves while we record. No, that's a bit much. But that's, otherwise, yeah, this is much. this is the main thing. <laughs> but the intense color work is done. Oh. So this is the Copperhead T pattern. I don't remember the designer's name. I apologize. It's in the show notes. And I modified the chart slightly so that they were Cobra heads instead of copper head heads yep because the niece specifically said cobra sweater and she picked this pattern because it's uh, actually a really it's the best looking snake pattern honestly if you it look is. up snake sweaters on ravelry it is the best looking snake sweater pattern it really and all the is. ones for kids are like really kind of lame to be perfectly yeah. honest they're the kind of sweater adults make for kids and kids go Ugh. Yeah, so like I, I let her pick the pattern. So she picked this one, yeah. but she was like, but it's not cobras. I want cobras. I'm like, well, I can change the charts. I can make them cobras. So I made them cobras. Yeah. And she picked the colors off of Erin's website. No. I don't remember. I think the blue is Harvest Night and the the beige is Latte. Harvest Moon? Harvest Night? Harvest Moon, Harvest Night, Harvest something. Something, yeah. And uh, I think the plain undyed is called Latte. Well, it can't be undyed if it's called latte. Well, Ooh. maybe it's not undyed. I don't know. The beige, <laughs> it was blue and beige, as requested. So I'm trying really, <laughs> really hard to get it done for this trip. We shall see. But I'm just, I'm Famous so pleased words. with this thing. And 
and uh, floats. Just everybody, just admire my floats for a moment. Look at the backside. Hey, those turned out good. Work. It's so pretty. I'm so pleased with how oh, this so, looks. So good. So good. Yeah. yeah. So that's. Uh, yeah, future Joss is going to kick me in the butt, but I think I'm going to focus on the blankets this week. Because I think I just need two more repeats of rows 4 through 12 for the snow blanket, and I know it's the final repeat for the annual Christmas blanket. So, that's really close for both. Why are you wearing your sweater on your head like a lampshade? I don't know. <laughs> it's late and i'm weird All right. i guess that means it's my turn it is indeed chilling out on the computer guaranteed to make some noisy noise i have a sock i am making the solstice socks by the petite knitter spelt soul as in the thing we carry around with us as humans and then this it is a all over color work sock pattern and because we're recording one day later, I now get to show Diana the really, really cute nine millimeter circular sock oh, needle I so put it on. Little. They're so adorable. I have done one more row since yesterday. <laughs> the first row of the color work charts, which means I have changed from needle size. And boy, did I have a debate. And I opted to go with a three point five instead of a four millimeter needle given the gauge i'm getting on my toe right now under the theory that if they're just a little too tight i don't see you this week but i see you next week if i put it on your foot and it fits your foot i'll just keep finished the sock i'll just do it to your like instead I might of mine get surprise socks and you might get socks so i mean i would not be upset if i got surprise socks they sure be surprised uh <laughs> Oh, this isn't the pattern that I want. Oh no, because I don't have the pattern. I had to make to an have. executive decision and try to adjust from a two point two five millimeter to a four millimeter was a a bit of a a bit of a leap. Three point five is a bit of a leap to yeah. keep gauge. Yeah. But I look from the one row I've done, it doesn't look too bad under a magnifying glass. So hopefully this works and since the needles are only nine inches around it's not like i'm putting this on anytime soon because that would so just be little. silly it's so cute uh, it's a tally uh no, my socks generally don't travel color work socks definitely not travel pat projects so this is my first time trying out some chow goo nine millimeter nine millimeter nine inch circulars we'll see how i do i've never worked on a circular this small uh, but uh, the lovely Jen didn't enjoy working on circulars that small, so sent me the ones that she had to try to see if I liked them. And I went, yeah, absolutely. Because if I do, then we know they're being used, not sitting in a drawer somewhere, which is just the most yeah. offensive thing on the planet, is to have a tool sitting in a drawer somewhere not doing anything. Woof, not good. I don't know what the Red Guard is. Because these are rescued skeins of yarn, and I don't remember anymore. But I do remember that this beautiful sparkly teal I'm using for my contrast color is from Tristed, Twisted Fay Works. And we saw her at uh, Net City in 2018. I vaguely remember this. I vaguely remember the sparkly yarn purchase. There was great debate about the sparkly yarn purchase, I seem to recall. Yeah, yeah. Well, at the time, I was knitting more shawls than anything else. Now I knit more garments than anything else, and I feel like if we ever run across her stuff again... We might need to specially order sweater quantities for ourselves in Sparkle so we can have Sparkle sweaters. Not light Sparkle sweaters, serious Sparkle sweaters. Hmm. I might need a seriously sparkly, tacky Christmas sweater. Oh my god. The festive yoke sweater from Skade Deer Knits. It's but it's just sparkle. like offensive <laughs> volumes of Sparkle. That would be... That would be an assault on the senses. French kiss, 10 out of 10. Highly recommend one gear. We will have to do this. Because <clears throat> that needs to exist in our lives. <laughs> oh, uh, dear. I apologize, right. world, for putting this idea out there. 
Uh, they might be able to take me out in public. Not that sweater, I don't. Fair. <laughs> Fair. Let's go offend my sister's uh, eyeballs in this. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, I have one more thing to talk about. How are you doing? I also have one more thing. It is late. I'm good. Hello. It's I'm sorry. Late. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's fine. It's fine. Now I get to report that I finished a back panel. So you there. Still, you do. The you triumph. Do. The triumph is real. I guess I should talk about a thing. And she um, delays us oh, no, even though it's late and she wants to go do something else. <laughs> away because we finished talking about them hang on uh, i would like it known <laughs> that for my podcast anniversary knit along i knit four swatches one two three four swatches yes dear and you can see the difference between my first swatch which is like kind of a real size swatch and um the last swatch didn't even get watched. <laughs> you can see the, the level of frustration go up because the size of the swatch goes down. Oh, bad. Anyway, I finally got Gage. And I cast it on the ribbing for the back panel of Dad's Cabled Vest, which is a free pattern from Karen Cakes. Um and so the back panel is just a bunch of stockinette and then the front panel is all like two by two cables yep. so the front pa front panel will be a little bit intense because it's got like the little v-neck thing going on as well so it's got like the shoulder shaping and the v-neck so the front panel is going to be intense but the back panel should go whoosh because it's just a bunch of stockinette yeah i mean ideally if you're done your back panel by the end of january that gives you two months to get the front panel done, which is really like where you want to front load your time. We shall see. Because I know you, know, I know I also... you can finish cows. You've done it before. Well, because I also I need to make some kind of like crochet lacy beach cover up for the Jamaica wedding. What you need to do is talk to Jocelyn. It's late. I'm just I'm getting resilient. <laughs> The Daily Constitutional. Dance time. Uh, uh, uh. Dance break. Can't touch this. <laughs> I have a thought. All right. I've okay. got one more thing to talk about, and oh, it's the I Roman helmet. Mention, oh, I, yes. I said with the, the, the yarn. Oh, the yes, the yarns. Farms, I believe. You know what? I have ball bands. <laughs> I have ball bands. Twin yeah. Oaks Farm. Does it say where it is? No, it's just, it's somewhere around here. Twin Oaks Farm, Purple Heather. <laughs> It smells nice and sheepy. It smells nice um, and sheepy. Yeah. Okay. I have one thing left. Ply worsted in case anybody cares. <laughs> I don't know that anybody does. They might. Wheelie, 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 wheelie. I'm sure that's what everybody comes here for. Watching wheelie, you wheel wheelie. around your office? Probably. Wee! I have the parts <laughs> to a Roman helmet in mysterious leftover gray acrylic. I have a hat that looks like a helmet when it is on a head, which is important because that is what it is. And I finally finished the visor. <laughs> to attach to the hat, which is always awkward because I don't have my foam head here to display this hat on. <laughs> so this is going to go well because the hat's kind of floppy because it doesn't have a head in it right now. Nor should it. It's not supposed to at the moment. That would Ugh. be weird if it just had a head in it. That sounds very Halloween. Got a visor to attach to the helmet. Looks Such atrocious. a freaking weird hat. It's a, it, it's a it's a standard fantasy, not real history knight hat with a Roman crest on the back of it. I call it a Roman helmet. It is ridiculous and over the top. And I showed it to the mysterious Mr. B. I'm very excited for this thing. And he was like, that's not accurate. I said, no, no, it's not. He's like, but yeah, I kind of, yeah, I'd wear that. So I've got the mask part now. It fits my face fine, which means it'll go over his beard because he is a man of beards. What I'm waiting on is buttons because you secure the visor to the helmet with buttons 
so that the shaft of the button goes through the hole here on the edge of the visor. Mm -hmm. So that way the visor can go up or down. So you can right. choose on whether you have your visor on or off. But as I'm mucking around a little bit with the size of the crest, not the crest placement, just the size of it, I don't want to do the crest at the back of the helmet till I've secured the visor to the helmet. Mm -hmm. And tested out its fit. So <clears throat> this project's in pause. This is my project for the podcast anniversary because it is being made out of a iron gray yarn, which is themed. All right, my dear. Uh, woolly working. I gave you your word, so you're good to go. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> for the unscripted Patreon ad. Uh, blank. <laughs> blank as I furiously try to remember what the word was that you told me. Books. I got there. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I I did get there eventually. Okay. If for some reason you would like to financially support these shenanigans, you may do so at patreon.com slash northern its podcast. Any level of support gets you access to our patron only discord server where we are active at all hours of the day and night. The, 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 oh my God. It's the night. Yep. The day and the night we're active at all the times. Talking about lots of stuff. Including books sometimes. And enabling each other into buying all the things and starting all the things and chewing appropriately when we finish the things finally. Absolutely. And also we appropriately have... ogling uh, newly organized storage spaces. We have some amazing That's finishers. Theme this week. <laughs> and some amazing organized knitters in our group. You and I are not in that group. I know. <laughs> People just get to look at this all the time. <laughs> they can't even see half of it. This is improved. Uh, oh, that's fine. We know what we are. That's the important part. <laughs> Content uh, creators, apparently. Y'all, y'all. As always, we super understand budgets are a real life thing. If you can't financially support us, liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing, and talking with us on social media platforms is a great way to interact with us. Most of the time it's me, but if you want Diana, I will never be offended. I will just go track her down. It usually starts with tagging her and uh, love, light of my life, and then in capital letters, go deal with a thing! It starts out with uh, prodding with the digital stick and then mm -hmm. uh, poking with the digital stick and yep. then uh, full on whacking with, with the, digital the digital stick. stick. Yeah, if necessary. Yeah. Yeah. She can't yeah. escape me, people. I have her husband's phone number. <laughs> <laughs> she knows where I live. I know where you live, but even more so, your husband would be so confused as to why I'm calling. He'll just answer the phone. <laughs> this is true. I really can't escape. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Right now, we have one, and only one, knit log running, which is good because that gets complicated real quick for us the rest of the year. <laughs> we are currently in the process of celebrating six years of podcasting life. In the sometimes of March, we started podcasting six years ago. And since March is also both of our birthdays, we kind of make a big deal out of it. So as of January the 1st, the podcast anniversary, the sixth edition has begun it'll run to the end of march the theme is sixth wedding anniversary gifts ideas and thoughts so all the rules are descriptive in the show notes for diana and she she absolutely does that for you guys you can find it on the website if i'm talking too fast or you think i may have missed a rule follow the written rules on the webpage uh anything with a pattern name designer name colorway name <laughs> Or you can, through some ingenious use of logical argument, relate back to the words iron, candy, or amethyst. I will probably We're accepting say yes. some pretty great leaps of logic, so I, <laughs> whatever. If you can twist it. I've only said uh, no to one. I don't because... think we have too much else. Oh, we've got the dates when we'll be live. So like, I'm live with Louise next week on the Mid-Month Motivation. Yep, that's the, what, the 19th? Yeah, I think so. That's yeah. what I wrote down. Yeah, and right? then we have yeah. the Patreon e in on the last Saturday of the month this year, or this yep, month. that's the 28th. Um, 
instead of the second last Saturday of the month because you will actually be in the city and doing family stuff that weekend before you fly home the next day. So, like, you were busy. Yup. Yup. And I think and that's our next, February live. Our next regular live episode will be uh, February the 5th. Yes. Regular Sunday. Yeah. Uh, and, oh, we're going to do whip sprints again in February yes. on the 11th, which is yeah. a Saturday. Perfect. Done and done. Okay. I think that's everything. I think that's everything, you guys. All right. Take two. Done and in the book. So I'm going to say until next week, my name is Jocelyn. And I'm Diana. And no matter where your week takes you, don't forget to knit. Don't forget to knit.